Hello, my name is Yanni. I am CEO and one of the founders of BeatMagic. I'm going to show you our brand new weapons system today. It's the easiest ever way of creating weapons in a game. All you have to do is describe what kind of weapon you want to have, and that's all there is to it. The weapon is instantly available for you to use in your game. Let's see, let's try out how it works. You type in, for example, I want to have a teddy bear shooting machine gun. And, um, and there's the machine gun, then you start shooting, teddy bears come out, mission accomplished. Uh, you can create any type of weapon you want. Uh, you, you can describe the type of a weapon, the fire rate, um, what comes out of it, whether or not it's explosive, does it cause damage and how much if, if it doesn't and so forth. Uh, there are no limits. You can experiment, you can create different types of uh, weapons and you can try out as many times as you want. Um, let's let's see what, um, what, what kind of gun would um, shoot flowers. There it is. Our, I said rifle, but I guess um, I guess this thing, system thinks that uh, a bouquet is the type of uh, rifle that uh, shoots flowers. But it does the job. When you press fire, um, flower, uh, flowers are coming out. So, so basically, technically, that is, that is uh, uh, exactly what we asked for. And obviously, you can create guns that are destructive as well. So let, let's ask for something that shoots explosive coconuts. Um, could be anything but coconuts are good explosive things I guess and there's our machine gun let's try it out coconuts obviously come out they don't ex they do explode okay so there's a little bit of a delay here now um, this this can happen um, so the next time I will do um, explosive coconuts I'll ask them to explode at impact and not with a delay and that will sort out the problem. Um, obviously, this kind of delay can be fun too. You know, the coconuts are now rolling down the hill before they explode. So, so sometimes you can accidentally invent something um, you didn't intend to do, but that's actually more cool than the one that you tried to do. But let's see. If we want to create um, a machine gun that actually shoots those coconuts that explode right on target well the weapon this time seems to be a um, giant coconut shell and it does the job so now the coconut when it hits the target it, it explodes instantly which is what we were trying to do and uh, we do have another experimental feature here which is um, that you can create npcs but these uh, these are not real uh, functional npcs yet these are just uh, um, uh, guys that basically randomly run around. Um, so they won't fight back, but I, um, I can use them as targets, um, uh, you know, for, for, my, uh, for my shooting practice here. Um, it feels a little unfair uh, to be shooting at um, the guys who do not fight back, but don't worry, in the next release, they will fight back. And then this, the whole thing is gonna get much more exciting uh, from the gameplay point of view. Um, as for shooting practice, um, this, this works pretty, pretty well because you have targets that are moving around. And um, um, I'll do another video later about the NPC system we have, but, but basically it's going to work the same way where you can turn any object into an NPC, you know, even like a statue or pillar or, you know, whatever you want can act as um, a character in a game. But back to the weapons. Um, so yeah, so you can create your own imaginary weapons. You can create. You can also spawn uh, things like a machine gun, which you know works as a machine gun. Then um, you can define how much damage they cause. You know, you can uh, you can define the fire rate. You can define what type of things they shoot. There's you know a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of room for imagination and, and basically. Uh, like nothing is fixed. This this game does not have, or this any the platform does not have any weapons that are fixed. You you can configure everything the way you want. So when you create a game, you can choose um, what kind of weapons your players have available. 
um, it doesn't have to be something that shoots things. Like in here, um, it's a melee weapon. It's um, you know a sword that um, you um, you basically put it placed in the in the world, and 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 when the players find uh, the power up, they can pick it up and start using it. And um, uh, when you create your own game, you know if you want to do something that is non-violent, maybe you do the the, the, the flower launcher, and if you want to have some kind of weapons, and um, then you know if you want to have something that's explosive, you do that. Um, so it's easier this way, where the game, the, the the engine doesn't really force you on on any type of specific weapons. It's all you know up to you. So when you use explosives, for example, they have quite a bit of uh, destructive power, uh, which is um, which can be fun if if your game so requires. Yeah, let's let's make it dark, and uh, then you'll see how the homing weapons can be quite fun. Um, you know, so even even though it's dark um, and you don't really see the enemies or you see, but they're very dark. You can still um, hit at them. Obviously, in this case, again, as I said, they are not real um, enemies. They are just targets that wander around. But nevertheless, um, we create yet another coconut launcher, but this time it's uh, homing, and um, you, you'll be able to shoot and hit the targets that are somewhere out there. Now, as you can imagine, then, um, as, as you design your games, um, you can... You can play through them and you feel like, well, here we need more firepower, we need different kind of weapons. Um, you just, you know, drop them right there and then um, when your players will play, will be playing the game, um, they'll find those power-ups and they'll, you know, be able to upgrade to the weapons just wherever you wanted them to be. Uh, so we, we, we're trying to create this in sort of like a visual um, game creation experience where you get to play the game while you create that so you can be sure it is good. Uh, this little clip is um, our community manager John playing with uh, with a car weapon he created, which uh, looks pretty cool, but also pretty powerful. Um, you can see those uh, trees falling up, falling down in the background. Um, so um, when when you when you get to try it out, please let me know what are your favorite weapons because for me it seems I end up always creating um, either exploding cheese or a coconut. Um, somehow I love those, um, but um, I'm sure um, my creativity is pretty limited in this case, so I, I look forward to seeing what are all the cool things that, uh, that you will create. And finally, um, here is a little funny thing. Um, I created a, a homing missile that I accidentally didn't uh, attach an explosive to, so it reaches the target and then it just starts spinning around its, its, its feet. And the way these enemies work is that they try not to get underground, so they lift themselves on top of the things that are on their feet. And as a result, um, when there's enough of these little pieces of cheese circling around their feet, um, they end up lifting the uh, enemy up into the sky, which is, I think, pretty funny uh, <laughs> when you think of it. Um, totally uh, unintentional, but uh, but it ended up, ended up working um, pretty well, and I may or may not fix it in the next release. And um, but let's see uh, a few more pieces of cheese. There you go. Bye bye.